Hey everybody, Some Gadget Guy here with my Lenovo Helix 2 for another quick tip, this one on controlling your settings. Now when we go into the notification shade, go into all settings, this is a much cleaner, prettier look for the settings menus than we've had in previous versions of Windows. You go to a category, you click on it, and then you can go into individual actions. Now if you're an old timer like me and you're super cranky about having to look for things, you can still go down into your Windows icon here, right click, and go to the old school control panel if you don't like having to look for these individual control options. But of course, there's another way that you can get into fast settings and controls, and that's by enabling a God Mode folder. Now, first of all, we're going to need a specialized text string. Now, don't worry about writing it down from my notepad screen share here. This is going to be shared in the description below this video. But we're going to copy this string, and now we're going to create a new folder. Let me minimize that. and we're going to paste that string into this folder name. Now, once I hit enter, you'll see it changes over into a control panel icon. And double clicking on this, we now have very fast and streamlined access to all of the settings and controls built into your computer. Just like in a regular file explorer window, you can search for individual settings, and then this is also a handy resource for creating shortcuts. Say you're constantly needing to manage audio devices, you can right click on this individual setting, create a shortcut, it's gonna tell you you can't create a shortcut here, but you can save it to the desktop, and now you can very quickly access this setting. Plus, you can pin this to your start menu for fast access to a streamlined settings interface. Lastly, you can have a little fun in creating this God Mode folder. Say you don't wanna call it God Mode, you wanna call it something else, you can rename the folder by changing the text in front of the period in this screen. So say you wanted a Batman control, you just copy this, you create a new folder, you paste in this folder, now you have the power of Batman in controlling your system settings. So folks, that's how you activate God Mode in Windows 10. Just another streamlined way that you can control and access settings on your computer. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe for more tutorials like these. And I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't supporting it, either through hitting the fan funding links, shopping using my Amazon affiliate links, or by sharing my videos on your favorite social sites like Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and Google+. So please keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next video.